Christopher. Oh, she's so ghetto. Buy everything, she's so ghetto. Oh, she's so ghetto. Treat her like a queen, she's so ghetto. What I want folks to take away from this show is to really reimagine and really rethink about the influence of black women, and in this case, ghetto black women to culture. Black women have always been creative and innovative, and we use what we got to make really beautiful art um, that we often wear on our bodies, from our hair, our nails, our makeup, our jewelry, our clothes. Um, we are walking art pieces. My mission is to honor, to amplify, and to immortalize the stories and voices of the Black South. And so all of my work really does that. It centers the Black South, Black Southern people, what we do, our traditions, our cultures, who we are. Um, that's my, my mission, to do that. And that is what motivates all of the work here um, as an artist. Uh, this exhibition has allowed me not only to share my work as a filmmaker, but as a music maker, as a writer, and now as like a fine artist too, because um, this is the first time that I've really put together a, a entire exhibition and installation. And so it has, you know, really broadened my horizons. This is not the, the end, this is only the beginning, but definitely my mission to honor, to amplify, and to immortalize the stories and voices of the Black South really, really is the, you know, genesis and the through line of my work. For my creative process as a filmmaker, usually I'm starting with an idea, um, something I've seen on social media, something I've heard or seen like in real life that really sparks an idea that I feel like I can write to even the more. And so that's the start of it. And then I make a soundtrack on Spotify and then I go to Pinterest and pin some, um, some things that I want to do with world building with the film. For this exhibition, which was my first time, you know, really getting in the weeds with painting, with um, creating like installations and, you know, wanting to do stuff that's really immersive in the space. Um, I started with like, okay, look, I'm not a artist or typical artist um, in that way or fine artist, but now I am. <laughs> So like, what can I do to make this space beautiful and to make it um, artful with my skill level? And so I figured like, look, because this ghetto girls deserve good things, let's go to the beauty supply store and let's make that the start of what this should be because every black woman knows what this is. They know the, the different color weaves, the beads, the gold, all of those things, the mannequin heads. And so I began to pull things that we see on a daily basis at our beauty supply stores and um, began to incorporate that into the show. And um, folks have really felt seen, heard, and all of that. So that's just my process. That was my process. What's next for me is hopefully some more shows. I really enjoyed um, creating and ideating and imagining this show and to have more time or resources and more, you know, folks really, really interested in the show. I would love to do that. But my next um, adventure is called uh, The Revolution Will Be Strange and it's about a you know, Southern Black couple in Mississippi trying to understand the strangeness of the South and how they have to become their own type of strange in order to navigate it. So, but Edo and Ghetto Girls Deserve Good Things will always be a project that I'll be working on. Surfer. Create the other culture, trying to dodge these vultures. Acting like they shiny, but they really dust busters. Please don't.
don't try to play me when you need to pay me. More gutter than the Irish, shut all your shit down, baby.